In this video, I'll show you how to upload your first episode in Buzzsprout. Start by clicking Upload a New Episode, and you can drag and drop the audio file or click Choose a File. Now, I'm uploading my podcast trailer because directories like Apple and Spotify need a live episode for approval. And a trailer is the perfect way to get listed before the launch date. Then you can publish your first episode whenever you want. And while my episode is uploading, I can give an episode title and type my episode description. This is also known as the show notes. If you look below the episode description, you'll see a link for the episode footer. The episode footer is information that you can save to be in all episode descriptions. So it's really good for things like social media links and host credits. Something to think about though, is that there is a character limit in the episode description and things like dynamic content or the episode footer do take up space. So it's good to try to keep things short and use an external link for longer content like a blog post. All right, now let's take a look at episode artwork. The default is your podcast cover art, but you can use episode specific artwork if you want to. And we have a Canva integration. Keep in mind though, not all podcast apps show episode artwork anyway. So if this feels like too much for your podcasting workflow, you can go ahead and skip this step. Below that we have information like season number and episode number. If these aren't applicable to you, like if you have content that doesn't need to be in a specific order, just leave them blank. And now we can choose the episode type. The default is full, which is just a regular episode, but there's also an option for bonus, which is a special episode outside of your normal publishing schedule and trailer, which is usually used to tease or introduce your podcast and platforms like Apple or Spotify will feature your podcast trailer at the top of the podcast page. And if your episode has any swearing or other explicit material, be sure to check the explicit content box. At the bottom of this page, we have more options and the extra information here isn't required, but it can be useful in some cases. So first we have artist and guest. The default will be the name on the podcast info page. And if you are doing a guest episode, like a different host, you can put their name in there. Then we have the summary. And in some apps, the episode summary will show instead of the episode description. So you can write a short one sentence blurb about the episode here. And then if you have a separate web page for each episode, you can put that link here under the custom episode web page. And finally, we have tags. So tags are a way to organize your episodes for the embed player. They can be phrases or words separated by commas. And an example of how this can be useful is let's say for my fiction podcast, I wanted to have a separate playlist for each story genre. So I would tag my episodes with things like myths and legends or adventure or classic literature. And in that way, I'd be able to create an embed player for each story genre. And now that everything's filled out, we can say whether we want to leave it unpublished and just publish it later, publish immediately if we're ready to put the episode out into the world, or we can schedule it for the future so that we can pick what day and time we'd like the episode to be published. And a tip that I have for scheduling is if you want your audience to listen on their morning commute, it's a good idea to schedule the episode to publish at midnight because some apps do take a few hours to update. Then just click save and update. Okay, now that we've walked through this process, I'm going to show you how easy it is to fill in episode information using Buzzsprout's co-host AI feature. Once I've uploaded the episode, I sit back and wait for co-host AI to do its thing. And now that's done, I have title suggestions for the episode. Ooh, this one's really good. An episode description, chapter markers, social posts, a blog post draft for my website, and a transcript. I hope this video has helped you to upload your first episode into Buzzsprout. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments or reach out to support at buzzsprout.com. And as always, thanks for watching and keep podcasting.